So what's up, y'all? I'm going to start this timer because I still want to stay on point for my three minutes of the topics that I would have covered this week. So first off, I wasn't writing a lot on the website because what I wanted to do was make sure I was keeping my... I don't get paid to run the website, so I have to generate income. So I spent this week transferring my authentic verification videos to the website so I could increase my ad revenue from my affiliate sales. And anytime I spend time doing that, the sales go up, you know, really quickly. So it makes it a lot easier for me to do what I'm doing right now, which is to give you the top stories every Friday, the top stories. So it's Insider Ties. Thank you, new subscribers, for following along. I hope you guys start watching these videos as much as you watch the sneaker videos because this stuff is important. And this one is especially important because today what I'm doing is talking very quickly first about the FDRA. Now the FDRA, the Footwear Distributors and Retailers of America, um, they're headed up by uh, Matt and uh, Matt Priest. And Matt was on uh, Bloomberg this week and he was everywhere this week. The footwear fighting for you guys of who Trade are basically, you know, you buy shoes, everyone's buying shoes, but we don't pay attention to the hidden costs that are inside of shoes, the duties, the shipping, all of those costs you don't pay attention to. We love sneakers and we want to wear the best looking sneakers, but what we don't understand is the tariffs, the extra fees that the government places onto the importing of shoes. It affects us directly. Well, Matt Priest has been stomping, 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 and the FDRA is putting up a fantastic fight for us to keep those tariffs and remove those 25% tariffs that are basically on their way. But the tariffs that are already there are ridiculous. So I really wanted to spend about a minute and a half thanking Matt Priest for doing that for the sneaker industry because we are not talking about it on the sneaker culture side of things. Now, the next thing is extremely important because I'm going to lead with Nike jumping into introducing their women's rookies in the WNBA and Serena Williams and Virgil Abloh. But what I'm going to do is juxtapose this with Allison Felix's disclosure this year that Nike has not re-signed her. Now, if you know anything about women runners and Olympic athletes, Allison Felix is one of the most decorated track and field athletes that we have in sports. And most decorated athletes that we have. Forget sports. She decided to have a baby. There's nothing wrong with that. Nike. This might take a little bit longer than a minute. Nike hasn't re-signed her because she can't participate in she got nine freaking medals nine running under nike's banner and nike won't i make my money off of nike a lot of us make our money off of nike but this is the thing sometimes you have to bite the bullet and say to yourself am i going to continue to support a brand who does not support women if they say they're doing it, this lip service that they give us by signing four new rookies is exactly that lip service. It's a waste of time. Y'all dudes out there that continuously buy from the brand, start looking at other brands until Nike begun. If they don't start taking things a lot more seriously, they ride the wave. They're the most powerful brand in the world. They pay $8 billion in advertising four billion a year in some instances in advertising fees paying women athletes what the they're worth does not hurt the brand and it's ridiculous that they have to sit here and try to fight for something that they should have automatically and if you dudes out there i swear y'all some punk ass dudes y'all be sitting around here acting like these women don't deserve stuff because they're women athletes they should be in the Man, y'all do some busters, straight up busters. You do one thing that a woman can do. We can't have babies. We can't do all these other things. They hold down the fort. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. Nike, treat them right. Treat them right. That's it for this week. Had to rant. Upset with Nike, man.